Okay, I'm over at my good friend Paul's house. He also bought a 22 inch Blackstone griddle. And we just got done seasoning mine. Now we're over at his house seasoning his. So Okay, so now that I've got the, the griddle started, what we're looking to do is we're gonna lose the factory oil. No matter what it is, any kind of steel, whether it's a wok or a griddle like this, and it's gonna come out steel, it's gonna have factory oil on it. So what you want to do is you want to just burn that off. Now this is going to take maybe 20 minutes or so to burn this off, but once it's done we'll take uh, peanut oil on, in this case and we're going to season the entire griddle with uh, peanut oil. So as soon as that's ready we'll come back. The griddle top is starting to change color, that's what you're looking for. You want this to start to turn black and but we still have a little bit of the factory smoke coming off of it we want to wait till that is totally gone before we start applying our our own oil so when you start seeing a little discoloration don't worry about it the idea is to make this thing look black by the time we're done okay we're back it's been about 20 25 minutes that we've let that oil cook off now what we're seeing is we're starting to see some really nice dark spots even some little white spots coming through. Now you may see different little spots depending on where the welds are on the top, but for the most part, we don't have that here, which is very nice. Uh, but we are running about 420 degrees right now. We just did a, a test and we are about 420, 419. So we're doing, we're moving pretty good there. What we're going to do is we're going to take peanut oil. Now you don't have to worry about all the flaxseed and all the fancy oils that cost you high dollar money. Vegetable oil, canola oil, peanut oil. Stuff you just buy that doesn't have to have a name brand or anything. Uh, if you're going to use olive oil, use a lighter olive oil. Not extra virgin, but a light color olive oil. Uh, so that you can get the highest heat. I'm a big fan of peanut oil, canola oil, or vegetable oil just because they have the highest heat before they start to smoke. Alright, so now with this being very hot, I'm going to use my tongs and some paper towels to uh, spread this around. All I'm going to do is give it just a little dab of oil. And then I'm going to take the tongs and I'm going to coat the oil. And the reason why I'm using the tongs, this is 400 degree uh, top, 420 degree. Look at it. It's already smoking up before I can even wipe it on. I'm not even covering the whole thing yet. So, and I need more oil already. But what I'm also going to do is I'm not going to leave this on too long. Because now my my uh, paper towel will start to burn, and you may leave some bits there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit more oil, a little bit more paper towels, and we're going to add a little more on this side. Again, we're not soaking the whole top we're just wetting it enough to where we can spread it around and this is what's going to help make that black color now this first go around we're going to get the sides I want the inside I want the outsides done the smoke is heavy taking my breath away a little bit And what we're doing is you might feel a little stickiness on your edges of your grill. This will help take all that off. All right. Now we have the first coat. What we're going to do is we're going to let this smoke all the way out. But I am going to turn the heat down now. We are a little too high. We want to gently season this in. So now the heat is turned on low. And we'll be back in just a minute. We'll probably be a few 
five, ten minutes before we need to put the next coat on. Okay, for the most part, the smoke is all done with the first coat. So now we're going to go ahead and do a second coat. Remember, just going to put a little dab of do you here. And take the tongs. I did turn it down to low, but we're still very high on the heat. You might hear some crackling from the, the oil when you put it on, which is okay. And remember, you're going to be cooking with oil anyway, so this is stuff you got to get used to. want to make sure you didn't skip anything. I like to flip the uh, paper towel over. We are going to put just a wee bit more. I'm going to go right back over here and over here. And we're going to get a little heavier coat on this second coat. That way I can get the sides a little better. see that it's already starting to smoke. Now remember I turned this on low so the smoke's not going to come out as fast as it did the last time because it is on low but it's still probably only 50 degrees cooler. It's not going to be it's not going to be a lot cooler. And don't forget your outsides of your of your griddle. You want to make sure you get all of this area and eventually over time this whole thing will be seasoned and look like your cast iron grill or skillet at home. All right. Okay, here we are with coat number three. So we're going to give a little bit, I'm still on low. But we're still running at about 400 degrees. So we're doing pretty good. Now I'm doing a little more oil this time, which is okay. We're going to take our paper towel and we're just going to spread it along. You want to just get it nice and wet. Make sure you get in the corners if it falls into the corners. Now these legs are adjustable, so if you want to push them back, uh, you can. We didn't do it for this because we don't want the uh, all the oil to run out the grease trap so we kind of wanted it a little bit forward uh, to hang on to the oil so now what I'm doing is is I'm just getting that edge all nice and oiled up and I'm looking at the top just to see if there's any uh, dull spots here we go on the side do the top do the front here. Do the t just do that top ridge too. I mean, all of this needs to go. If you see, like here, I got some oil stuck in the corner. Let's get it out. That's where, if your oil's too thick, that's where it's going to leave like a little sticky residue. So you want to make sure you get all your sides. Okay, now we're gonna put the fourth and final layer. We've turned the uh, heat up to high, because for this last one, we want it to burn high, so definitely be careful after you pour the oil in. Use your tongs to spread it around, or whatever kind of device you need, or if you just wanna take heavy-duty kitchen gloves or, or grilling gloves to wipe it down, you can do that too. So we're just gonna put a little bit of oil on each side. I'm gonna put a tad bit more oil. And I'm gonna put three dots this time on the last one. So what I'm doing, remember, like I said, we set this purposely so that the oil would fall forward. And what we're gonna do is now grab it and we're gonna move it around. Now my, my paper towel is nice and saturated with oil. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna get the oil over here in the corner. Get it right here at the top. I wanna get all these edges. 
Okay, again, like I said, be careful. Because now we're back up into that 450 to 480 degree mark. It is smoldering hot. You can see how the, the uh, smoke has just popped up. And like I said, this last cook, I want to do it on high. Okay, remember, we have it on high. Uh, it's very hot. When we're done with the smoke coming out of uh, this set of oil, we're going to get some bacon, and we're going to turn it back down to low, and we're going to cook that bacon on the griddle top to help season it. You don't have to. All right. Okay, now that we've done our four layers of oil, I'll have to tell you, this peanut oil, I'm very impressed with. It has made the color on this just beautiful. Now, little disclaimer though, if you have a, a friend or a family member that has uh, food allergies and is allergic to peanut oil, I'd be careful with continuing to season it. From this point on, if you, you can continue using the peanut oil, if you uh, want, you can also use canola oil, vegetable oil, Whatever you decide to use is up to you. There's no right or wrong reason. Just remember, you don't have to buy all that fancy oil they, they tell you on uh, YouTube. So what, for our last little bit of seasoning, we're going to take a few strips of really nice thick cut bacon, and we're going to lay these puppies on the grill. Now, I will tell you, about five minutes before we came back, I turned the grill back to low because this was hitting at 540 some degrees uh, on the top. So I want to just kind of reduce it a little bit and I bet I'm only reducing it maybe by 40 or 50. But this bacon will allow you to take that grease, we're gonna mix it around and we want to get it out there. We're also coating it, just gonna give that little bit of flavor. that bacon is. Show is hot. I did turn the heat back up to help with the bacon. And I will tell you, this puppy is hot. I am going to turn it back down. We're going to cook this side. Let it go. Little trick, if it sticks to the uh, bottom, which bacon will stick, there's going to be things that will still stick here, but you just take this and you just scoot it up underneath and it'll, it'll free it up like butter, which is one of my friend Paul's favorite things. Okay, so that's seasoning your grill. What we did, let's recap everything. We took the grill, it was in its new state. We allowed that the uh, oil from the factory to be burned off. That took about 30 minutes. Uh, we waited until that was completely clear of smoke. After that 30 minutes or so went by, we put uh, a layer of oil we let that smoke run out we put a second layer a third layer and a fourth layer so and all throughout we allowed it till the smoke came out then we cooked some bacon I took that bacon grease and I wiped it all the way across the entire surface that also just creates beautiful beautiful seasoning after I was done with that, I took the uh, paper towels with my uh, tongs and I wiped it all the way around the entire surface just to get that bacon grease inside it. When I was done, the bacon left a few little 
bits on the top, which is no worries. Uh, if you have hard uh, spaces on your on your grill top, take a little bit of water, you squirt it, it will steam, and you take your spatula and just scoot it right off. Once I was done with that, I dried the entire surface with the paper towel. Then I went back in with a little bit more peanut oil and layered my last coat. Now the grill is off, it's cooling down. Um, this will be ready for, the, for when uh, Paul is ready to start cooking on it. When he comes back to start his first cook, he's gonna turn it on and he's gonna let the smoke out of this oil. And then he's gonna use oil while he's cooking and that's just gonna help adding to the seasoning. And the more you use it, the more nonstick it'll be. I appreciate you watching. We do want to thank Todd Tovin of Blackstone, who thanks Todd, who gave us both uh, a code to buy these griddles at Blackstone.com, and gave us 10% off. Watch some of his videos. It's Todd Tovin. Um, he's awesome to watch. If you want to learn how to grill, he's the man.